Welcome back to Tipsy Whiskey Shenanigans. I'm Steven and today, tonight, whenever the heck you're watching this, we are doing an Old Forester 100 proof head to head. We got the typical Old Forester 100 proof signature versus Whiskey Rose 1897 Bottled and Bond. Is this worth double what this is? All right, so we have a really interesting video ahead of ourselves that I'm super excited for. Is there a really big difference between Old Forester Signature 100 and the 1897? I'm a huge Old Forester fanboy. I like both of these bottles. I think they're both fantastic bottles, but is the 1897 really worth double the Old Forester Signature 100? And like, I don't know, what's what's the difference? Cause they're both they're both old Forester products, same mash bill, same distiller, same proof point. The only difference between them is one is non-age stated, the 100 proof is non-age stated, whereas the bottled and bond is, well, bottled and bond, so it's at least four years old. So, you know, what's, what's the big difference? You know, the bottled and bond, this one's like, 49 in my area now whereas this one's like 20 so i can get two of these for one of these and no matter what depending how cheap i am it might always be worth two of these over one of these but flavor wise is the quality coming from this better than the quality coming from this significantly we're about to find out and that's that's the question we're really here to do so in front of me i have two glen karens one is A, one is B. I don't know which one is which, and we're gonna figure out, you know, what's what's the big difference? They're, I'm assuming they're both just gonna be banana bread. That's what Old Forester always smells like to me. So let's get into it. On the nose of A. Banana bread. Ooh, actually more of like a banana cherry bread. Banana cherry, little tinge of alcohol. Nice caramels, vanillas, little bready characteristic. Little bit of like a cashew nuttiness. But overall, it's like really much so like that typical like brown foreman, banana bread nose, cherry. The only thing I will notice is there's a little tinge of alcohol. So let's go ahead and get on to B, and let's figure out, you know, what's what's the difference? Ooh, this one smells like more like put together, less astringent. Still that banana bread, a little bit of cherry. Hmm. A little bit more of like an oak impact. A little oakier, less nuttiness. No astringent alcohol smell. The banana bread is like, it's more richer. The cherry notes a little bit more like rich. Honestly, that's the main difference. All They're both presenting the same like flavor profile. It's just glass A, a little bit more astringent, kind of a little bit more alcohol forward, a little bit grainy forward, where B, it's a lot more well-rounded. It's bringing everything A is, but just more well-rounded, a little bit more like put together, more pleasant, approachable nose. Mm. And a little bit more oak. So just on the nose, I already have an idea of which one's which and which one I like, better but let's go ahead and get on the palettes and let's see if does that change on the powder a milk chocolate banana bread vanilla ice cream caramels vanillas mm. so much banana a little bit of cherry uh, on the nose i was getting a lot more cherry on the palate it's a lot more banana-y with like a tinge of cherry maybe a little bit of a strawberry on the palate as well Mm. So much brown sugar too. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's so good. 
no matter what, none of these are losers in my case. I, I'm i an old Forcer fan boy. I love both of these bottles. It's so good. Brown sugars, vanillas, caramels, bananas, chocolate. Um, not, not any nuttiness on the palate on this one. Not really getting any nuttiness. Finish, it's very brown sugar banana, like caramelized bananas. That's exact, caramelized bananas. And then actually a little bit of nuttiness on the finish. Mm. Viscosity, it's it's okay. It's not as good as I remember, but you know, let's go ahead and get on to B. It's A, but better. It's no stringent sharp points at all. Everything just flows together. Like where this one's kind of more of like an EKG, like this one's more of like a, you know, it's a wave. It's going with the flow. All the flavors blend together well. It's that like banana, strawberry, cherry, brown sugar, caramels, vanillas, like chocolate, vanilla ice cream. It's all just where this one's, it's more like banana, chocolate, chocolate, sugar, sugar, blah, blah. Um, overall, I think they're both really good. Um, the viscosity on this here, let's get in one more time before I say something I don't mean. Finish longer and like more viscous on B than on A. Mm. Yeah, so no surprise here. I, I kind of, I either, this was gonna go one of two ways. Either these were both gonna be same, same, or one was clearly gonna be the victor and it turned out to be that latter. Uh, in my opinion, B is clearly the winner. They're both the same flavor profile, which no surprise, same distillery, same like proof. They're all that like typical brown form and bourbon note that you know I get because well, this is one of my most consumed brown form and products outside of like maybe 1920, but I've probably drank more of this than 1920 if we're gonna be honest. Um, whereas this stuff, I think this is still my first bottle of it, so I don't really drink a lot of it, but I think this is this is probably Glass B. Uh, Glass B, it's that flavor profile I'm getting from A, but it's so much smoother, which I know people hate that descriptive, but everything just blends together well. There's no strange sharp notes. And without further ado, time to look at that key. Uh, is it A or is it B? I swear, if this, if B is the Old Forster 100 proof signature, I don't know what to say. Okay, thank God. Okay, A is Old Forster 100 proof signature. B is Old Forster 1897, which again, makes complete sense. Uh, I know this, this video didn't really go as I expected it would be, I thought, there was gonna be more of like comparison back and forth, like one was gonna have the same. But honestly, all the notes I got were like same, same. The only thing I could really tell the difference apart was B was well put together where A was astringent comparatively. This kind of didn't really go as expected. Maybe some of you guys expected it, but I was expecting it to be a little bit more different. Um, but I guess it was kind of nice to be able to tell the difference of like how it flowed together. Cause a lot of the times we're picking out notes that are kind of like, oh, well I like the cherry I'm getting on this. Or it's like, oh, well I'm getting banana on this. And I like that banana over a cherry note where these, it's like the same notes. It's just like, how did those notes impact you? How did that make you feel? And that was a fun like experiment or experience to go through. So that's gonna be a wrap for this video. If you're looking for a value bourbon that you're just gonna crush in like a night, Old Forester Senior Proof 100. If you're looking for just an overall good, crushable 100 proof Old Forester whiskey, Old Forester Bottled and Bond. That stuff's fantastic. I don't know why I don't drink a lot of it. I guess it is what it is. Do us a favor though, like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you guys thought about this video. Let us know what you guys thought about my comparison of them. I know I wasn't like overly descriptive on notes and whatnot just because, well, it's Old Forster. I said it a thousand times. I don't wanna beat a dead horse. Also check us out on the Facebook, Instagram, and the Patreon. The link for that is down there below. We appreciate y'all so much for your support. Cheers. 
We'll see you later.